this is the bike that was in a car accident. Whole front was crashed up. As you can see, it's back. I already test rode it. It's good to go. Ooh, it's DJ Sounds, my favorite DJ. Oh, yeah. What up? It's your boy Sounds, and we are back again. And today, we're working on a couple of bikes. Uh, we got first up, we got a Saran that was involved in a car accident. So you can see the damage. Broken, 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 broken. So we're gonna replace the fork. I'm gonna try to salvage this wheel. Um, the nut definitely broke off of the axle so I'm trying to get this out now uh, we have another axle provided by El Petro so shout out to you because I didn't have an extra one I had an extra fork but not an extra axle so I'm going to throw that on um, and then after I replace it I got to make sure that the wheel didn't get bent during the accident so and also, I believe the front brake cable snapped out. So, yeah, there's no cable in there right now. So, we're gonna see if we can salvage that. If not, we're gonna have to put new brakes on it as well. The back brake, the cable didn't snap, but there's no pressure. So, it might just need bleeding. Um, so, we'll figure that out. And over here, we got the Huck working on. Has some issues uh, with the controller. So we're gonna replace the controller. It's a Volto controller. We're gonna replace that. I was testing out the holes. The holes um, had an error. So I uh, tested and tested, and uh, the holes are okay. It was just a connection issue, but the controller is shot. So we have to order the controller, replace the controller, and find out what's going on with these front brakes because these things are locking up. They tighter than a virgin. I'm a virgin, Joe. I don't want to die a virgin. Help me, please. So we're going to work on that. And uh, once we replace the controller, reprogram it, we should be good to go. All right, so I found something out. Uh, while I'm turning this side, uh, the other side is turning as well. So that's why I've pulled these out. So I can hold it. On the other side, while loosen this side, and the cap should come right out. Unfortunately, I don't have my tripod, so I am gonna have to do this off camera, and I'll show you what the results are once I'm finished. So, um, the idea was, the you know, that I did have space on the other half of the uh, bolt or cap, whatever you want to call this damn thing. Uh, so what I did was grab the pair of these, and since I had room, um, basically I'm able to get this to grip and then... Think about it. I probably could have smacked in a, uh, a hex driver in there when that was a little uh, larger than this hole. Smack it in there and then use that for a ratchet and uh, get it out that way too. So even if this didn't work, I would have probably went that route. Now I'm thinking about it. But this seems to be working for now.
All right, so we back at it again with the Chevron that was involved in a car accident. Uh, so last time we're trying to get the wheel off, as you can see, I got the wheel off. Um, it was it was something. Um, axle was snapped. So um, here's the fork. And that's the axle there on that side. And as you can see on this side. Uh, it's the cap is still right there, so it took half of the tip of the axle when it snapped off. But we got it off. Shout out to uh, my man Lewis, uh, helped me out with this one. It was uh, it was very hard to get this one off. So shout out to him. But yeah, we got it off. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to start. Uh, loosen up all the bolts so we can drop this fork and uh, another fork over here. So we're gonna put this one in and uh, place it with this one. And um, main thing is we want to try to salvage this wheel because we couldn't get it out. We just had a backup plan, but um, we got it out. So it looks good. Uh, the bearing is here, it's very smooth. This one is smooth, but probably gonna have to replace this one sometime soon. I feel it a little bit of uh, not grinding, but a little bit of uh, you know the motion is a little a little rough than this one. This one is like really smooth. This one is good for now, but probably replace it sometime in the future. But it's still good though. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, what was the other issue? Oh, the other issue was the brake. As you can see, the cable is here front and it was ripped out when the accident happened uh, I tried to screw it back on the caliper and it didn't bite for some reason oh and some nasty stuff in there there need to be a bite almost and the reason is because some of the threads um, were stripped Thing was ripped out because remember this has to be screwed on so in order for this to be you know ripped out which you can see clearly see because I can see it from here looking at the camera that's a lot larger on this side than this side so this whole section here just got ripped out so that's not going back in there so we're gonna give them a new caliper and the pads were done anyway so give them a new caliper New cable, new lever, and uh, new pads at the same time. The back is still intact, um, but there's no pressure. And uh, now that I'm looking at it, uh, the pads are finished here too. So uh, what we we'll probably end up doing with the rear is um, we're gonna change the pads, and it should get the pressure back should get the pressure back somewhat if not uh, we're gonna have to try to you know we bleed it the pads are definitely low in the back they're definitely low so and once we uh change the pads this definitely is gonna feel a lot better but if not you know we just we'll bleed them because you know gotta be able to stop Check back in after we get the other fork installed and get the wheel back on and all that stuff. Might have to chew the um, the road as well because when trying to get the axle out, we did pull on the road a little bit, uh, so it may be untrue, but we'll find out once we get it back on. And so we just chew it or we just replace it with another one. That's it. All right, so you can see that's the old fork there. Place the fork, Put the fork up and running. The wheel is back on the original wheel. It's on and running. So all I gotta do now is just get a brake break. The brake is uh, damaged. So I get a brake on there. And that's it. I could be back on the road.
All right, so we just finished this up. We uh, did the brakes. Had to change the whole cable because uh, it started leaking from up here. So I changed the whole cable. Um, he also had an issue with the valve. So we changed the tube. We got it in there. So everything is good to go. And um, yeah. So this is the bike that was in a car accident. Whole front was crashed up. As you can see, it's back. I already test rode it. It's good to go. It's ready. The owner is excited. I'm excited that it's done. And we're gonna move on to the next one. And to the next one. And to the next one. Peace. I'm out.